okay, I have the world's largest blue screen for doing all sorts of uh, different chroma key special effects. I'm gonna rent it out to people. I mean the world's largest screen and I'm gonna make it five bucks a day for any video production company to come and use the ultimate, ultimate blue screen. So most of us have a green screen, white screen, black screen background. The thing that always drove me kind of crazy, probably drives you crazy, is if you want to have a large cast or you want to have people running or, or doing things, you need such an enormous screen in order to accomplish that, uh, that very few of us have that in a little home studio or even a, a mid-level studio, I would imagine wouldn't have it. So as I said, this video is to give you the world's largest blue screen. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna throw in the lighting completely for free. Let's go. bay here and I'll give you a clue as to what's going on. So here's this shot of me here against a beautiful giant chroma key green background and you can see if I click to another point in the shot that that chroma key green background is just enormous. You could probably get a whole football team up here with me. Uh, it's actually not necessary that I was on the wall. This can actually be done just about anywhere. Uh, but in this case, uh, the wall happened to be there, so we just took advantage of it for the shoot. And in case there's any question as to where I really am and how this big background was actually done, I'll give you a clue here, a big clue, by clicking on <laughs> an unkeyed section. So the world's biggest blue screen background is, of course, the sky, which at the beginning of the video, I was trying to charge you $5 for, so I'm sorry about that, but if you do want to send me the $5, that's actually still fine with me. Here I am uh, with a big blue screen background, and we found that keying the sky and using it as a chroma key background is actually extremely effective. Uh, the only trouble you get into is near the horizon, as you can see here, uh, the blue turns to a little bit of a, of a white shade. And so that is a little bit more difficult to key, but it's still completely doable. And if you're shooting up or if you're on a hill that's uh, particularly high, heck, go to a mountaintop for your production. That would be an, an ideal place for this. For those that are new to keying, let me give you a little bit of background on it. Uh, and another very, very nice thing about this particular keying technique uh, is that you do not need the very fancy Razzle Dazzle software. Everybody these days seems to be using the $1,000 keying software or, or Adobe or Keylight, uh, some of the ones that have some really sophisticated keying uh, abilities. But this is just all done with the built-in slider from any editing software that has a chroma key here. So this is a Sony Vegas 11, and here we can see we just have the high threshold, the low threshold for the background, and if I cut out the key, it's just a blue screen background. Once the key is in, I can lay any image, not just green, but any picture in the background or any video in the background that I'd like. So just for those that are new to keying, I actually think this is a great way to start because it's inexpensive. And one of the most difficult things when you go to key something effectively, aside from the fact that most cameras these days don't have a good color spacing uh, to allow you to get a clean key, but is to light your subject and in particular to backlight your subject well. And of course, if you're keying under a clear blue sky, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video also, your lighting is included with this keying effect because you have bright sunlight, which is giving a great even lighting and usually a back lighting to some degree to all of your characters. So you get these very, very nice lines, even with very simplistic keying software. So I thought the whole segment actually came out very, very nicely. I can kick in my background here and put myself back in the volcano land. There we go, it's, now it's treacherous and frightening all over again. And I hope you get a lot of yardage out of the world's largest blue screen and uh, you enjoy this technique a great deal. Oh. 